Hi, my name's Ken. I'm from Traverse City, Michigan, and you're watching TJV. truck look familiar to you guys? <laughs> that was the, the first W900 I ever drove. It's still here at Keystone. It's owned by Brian now. He's over there. And this is Pedro. He's got a T680. So we got the Kenworth crew here. These are my regional co-workers. We all uh, deliver to the same, same delivery point here. I'm getting unloaded over there now. Pedro here, he's already unloaded. This is his T680. You might have seen it on my Instagram story already. He likes the social media as well. And uh, he's actually pretty good. He, make, he makes some awesome content and he does uh, amazing photos. He's got a really good camera. I think that color looks great. And we got Brian's KW there and mine back here. We're all being unloaded. I'm staying out of their way here while they get my trailer unloaded. And as soon as I'm finished, I've got to head back to the yard. I've got to grab a riser and uh, a few straps that I left there and head off to Kenora. I know you guys have never met the owner of, I call it my old W900, but Brian here has had it for eight years now. Yes, I have. How do you like it? Oh, it's been great. It's been Pretty good to me. Yeah? Yeah, I can't complain. You made it a lot better. There's been a few changes on it. Just yeah. A few. New bumper on the front. Uh, the grill is different. Headlights are different. I just took the louvers out on the grill. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You told yeah. me that. Yeah. Looks better. I know. It's amazing what that does <laughs> to the locks. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and Pedro here. See, he's got his fancy camera. I was just telling him about your camera. <laughs> He's really good with it. Wait, wait, wait. New thumbnail. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he does. Uh, I'll put his Instagram down below in the uh, description there. Appreciate it. One of them. Or how many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Too many. I can tell you, but then. Well, then he'd have to kill me. <laughs> so whichever one you want me to share, I'll put it down below in the description. You can go check his stuff out. He takes some really good pictures. And videos. He just put me in his reel. I'm honored. I'm on his Instagram now. You're going next level. Next level, yeah. <laughs> so these guys are uh, part of the regional crew. Going our separate ways from here. I stopped by the yard and grabbed two risers. Some people call them bunks. Just in case I need them here. I think I might need one, but I grabbed two just in case. I'm just coming up to Kenora, Ontario here. I'm gonna put a load of culverts on my trailer and just bring it back to the yard and then I'll be done for the weekend. Shouldn't take too long to load. These uh, culverts are very light. They're very easy to tie down. A couple of straps, you throw them over, you tie them down, bit of bang, big a bang, big a what? Bada bing, bada boom. That's what I was going for. I don't know what came out there. We'll just leave that in. <laughs> We're following behind a lovely group of vehicles that have not discovered cruise control. Very nice. You know, cruise control works great out on the prairies for these guys, but as soon as you get onto these two lane roads where you can't get past them, oh, suddenly they fluctuate between like, you know, 70 kilometers an hour and 150. That's the struggle. You need patience to drive this highway through Ontario. Luckily, I only have to go a little ways in here to Kenora. 
Well, already the city's right over here, or the town. In 600 meters, keep to the right on Barrett's Drive, Highway 658 and then slight right at 180 meters. I heard you the first time. Ladies and jelly beans, we are just about ready for the weekend. We got our last load of the week tied down. We're in Kenora, it's about a two hour ride back to the yard where I'm gonna leave this load. It's gonna be delivered Monday by someone else. Let's go. It's been a good week. Four loads this week. Yeah. Two Brainerds. One Hutchinson and one Kenora going back home. Four little, it's been a good week. Good, good week. This one was like a little extra little treat right at the end. Asked me if I had time and if I wanted to. Extra little cash in my pocket. End of the week. I said, absolutely. Absolutely. Trucker Josh is your man. Woo! And the weasel. Yeah, he and the weasel. Ab absolutely. Weasel too. Weasels matter. Thanks for noticing. I apologize for Karen. She started the weekend a little earlier than me because she's not driving. She has no idea what she's talking about. She's drunk. We're coming up to our favorite corner though. I haven't shown this to you in quite a while, so I figured we'd go through it together again. It's rush hour. Karen, you're embarrassing yourself. Just do yourself a favor, just shh. It's uh, five o'clock in the evening on a Friday. And this intersection is that difficult one that I always showed you when I was doing city work. Let's see how much worse it's gotten. Cause you know it hasn't gotten better. Karen, no one's listening to you. Turn left. Turn left. I know what I'm doing, Karen. Okay. So remember over that hill there, you can't see traffic coming towards you at uh, 60 mile an hour, 100 kilometers an hour. And over there, you can't tell what lane people are in. They're coming at about 55 mile an hour as well, or faster. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, no, not gonna send it yet. See, some people are on the far lane, which goes onto the perimeter. I don't have to worry about them, but some of them are on this lane, which are coming past me here where that black truck is. I have to worry about them because I can't cut them off. I also can't just go across one lane of traffic here because then I'm blocking off this highway where people are coming over that hill at 100 kilometers an hour. Okay, there's a gap, there's a gap, there's a gap, and uh, no, can't go. See, now there's a gap here, but I'm not gonna pull up and block this road. First of all, that's illegal, you're impeding traffic. And it's very dangerous, that's just, you know, one person comes over the hill not paying attention. You know, nose deep in their phone, and they'll slam into you. <laughs> and they're probably gonna come after you for damages, because you were blocking the highway. Nice peak coming up here, look at this. Purdy. Little dirty, but it's purdy. Very nice, very nice. Get comfortable, folks. It's gonna be a little while back there. Okay. Okay, okay, there's a gap coming here after this car. And there's a gap here. I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Wait, no, oh, I'm gonna be cutting off that car then. Ah. Uh, okay, we'll wait for the next gap. There's a bunch of gaps coming up here. Okay, so if I can get a gap in this side. Come on, come on, come on. Non-stop traffic. Okay, 
Huge gap there, huge gap there. Come on, send it, Josh. Right after this van, we're gonna send it. We're gonna send it. Sending it. Just about there, Diesel. You ready to go home? Oh, I said it. I said it way too soon. Diesel, sorry. We gotta go to work. We gotta drop our trailer yet. I'm not going right now. I said it way too, I always do that. I always forget that he's so smart. Hey, man. What do you mean I'm huge? I know. Sorry, Diesel. Of course I'm smart. Look at me. I'm a weasel. I'm not even gonna look at you right now. That's offensive. Defensive, you're gonna go to jail. You might be willing to hurt me. I'm gonna call you cops. Trespassers. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting crickets. I've heard from you guys in the comment sections that it's bad luck to kill a cricket. But if you kill two, it balances it out. Science. You, you just gotta kill two. The trick is to move in quick. <gasps> he's gone. He's gone. Oh no, he's still there. You should have left when you had the chance. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Wah! 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 Don't mess with me. He got away. That son of a bad word got away. Oh, that means his death has got to be twice as bad. And then I've got to find his friend who's over here somewhere. Because remember, it's bad luck to kill a cricket, but if you kill two, it balances it out. Zeroes it out. That's how it works. That's why I always kill crickets in twos. The shop has gone silent. They know I'm onto them. Oh, oh someone's getting brave over here. I hate crickets. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Some, some people might be like, that's harsh. That's a harsh trucker, Josh. No, it's not. I loathe crickets. And their little noise. It's like having a squeaky door hinge all the time, just in the corner, somewhere where you can't get to it. You can't grease it. It's just always there and someone's always playing with it. <laughs> 